Hey everybody, we're back for another uh, investigator deck guide for new players of Arkham Horror the Card Game. Today we're looking at Kelvin Wright, where if you're a new player and you look at Kelvin Wright and you think, you know what, I kind of want to, you're bold and I'm excited for you. Uh, these uh, deck guides are built with the philosophy of two core sets and the cycle in which they came from. Uh, if you only have one core set, we recommend picking up another one or proxying the cards because I promise you, it will make you win more. Deck consistency is a good thing. It's no secret. Anyways, uh, Bryn is the Kelvin expert of the group. So Bryn, <laughs> I want to pass to you because uh, right now I'm looking at Kelvin. No one's in the text box and I just see a bunch of zeros. Uh, why don't you go in a bit, a bit about Kelvin? Talk to me a bit about him. All right, so... The trick with Calvin is that we don't actually do anything for the first probably two, ter two or three turns of the game. We're kind of just here to try and take as much damage as we can without dying. we got to find a way to make that happen. Cards like Flashlight and Baseball Bag give us, let us test it effectively too. Which is not a good number, but um, as soon as we've got some damage on us, it starts to look pretty nice. Uh, baseball bat is probably in the running for one of the best melee weapons in the game. Uh, we get plus two punch, deal an extra damage. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. uh, the lucky rabbit's foot. For the first three turns of the game, you are going to be failing every skill test you attempt. Just this weird. card just lets you draw some cards and maybe, th maybe they do something for you. Maybe they don't. Uh, scavenging. Scavenging is just a way to is a way to recycle cards like your baseball bat or you know, your flashlight. Should you have to discard them for any reason? Yeah, scavenging is like a, a neat little loop there uh, for when you're investigating, where you can pitch a rabbit's foot or like an extra flashlight, and then just pick it back up, assuming you investigated good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just sort of like get plus one on your test. Assuming that your investigate succeeds. Yeah, if I remember correctly, he's scavenging in his deck because there's only so many red and cards that Calvin oh, that's fair. play. Calvin's, Calvin's got some weird deck building restrictions, to be sure. You can pretty much only play red cards with the exception of some some other colored oh, cards. You can play spirits. Spirits yeah. level 0 to 3 or 0 to 4 or something like that. And I think this is also what Travis said in the actual deck guide, which if you want to see the Arkham DB deck, the, it is posted uh, in the description of the video. But Calvin is very difficult to make work, even with a bigger collection than just the core and the cycle he's from. But, you know, uh, we wouldn't, it would be, we're going to still try. We're still going to try to make a deck out of it. Yeah, we're going to do it all. We're not going to tell you you can't play him. Exactly, because I it's think just, you can. You might be a little frustrated. Yeah, it might be harder, but, you know, that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've definitely got myself into some situations playing Calvin where I realized that... The thing I'm trying to do is only going to do horror to me, but I need my punch to be better for, to in order to succeed, and I'm just going to sit here and die over the next three turns. And I mean, Calvin's also from the Forgotten Age, which I think is also why the designer uh, put so much uh, <laughs> trauma in the interludes, because he was like, oh, God, I gotta get this Calvin yeah. going a bit better, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that is one of the strange things about Calvin, where for the first the first couple of scenarios, you're kind of looking to try and take trauma, but do it without impeding your team's progress. Yeah, and the, the perfect way is not bringing a blanket or binoculars. <laughs> going yeah. out, like, I'll sleep without a blanket. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, on the other side, there's the look what I found, which is uh, great for. Um, Kelvin stats because it's going to be lower, so you have to fail a test by two, which is very possible with uh, how this guy's going to be shaping up. Sometimes the hard part is failing by only two. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Um, cunning distraction is a way to evade without having to make a test, which is very strong, and it has three monkeys eating a chicken, so it's, it's you know, I'll say that every time I see this card, the art. Makes it yeah, my better. favorite part about that is the idea that no matter where you are, you just had like a fully prepared chicken with you. That's the survivor like, mindset, Go. so I'm not surprised. Yeah, actually, the uh, Arkham DB or the Arkham LCG subreddit had a thread card discussion, kind of distraction in the last couple of days. A lot of people expressed their distaste for this card, but I still, I think it's like pretty. I think it's just pretty it's, good. Yeah, it's solid. Like actual worst case, it's just like guts. 
Yeah, especially when you're playing with like a limited card pool. Like mm -hmm. uh, with a bigger card pool, I understand there's so many other cards vying for slots. Then like, why would you play this unless you're playing like 60 cards in your Mandy deck or whatever? But like, just when you're only playing with the one cycle in the like, your core sets, cards are just fine. Yeah, and like also it's a one of in this deck, which I think is the right number you want for it. You're only going to need it realistically once, right? Yeah, I can't imagine really ever playing more than one. But... Yeah. Uh, emergency yeah, cash. Uh, uh, like if you're, yeah, no, you're right. More than one is <laughs> ten bad. resources is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, emergency cash gives you three resources, which is uh, sixty percent of the way there to a nice tasty chicken. Um, and then Lucky is just a very, 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 very strong red card, right? And once again, with Kelvin, uh, it'll help you <laughs> <laughs> get some of those hits on some of those misses that you might be yeah. going into. Yeah, Playing Kelvin, you, you, might, uh, you might find yourself throwing Lucky so that you will fail by only two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the Lucky it's look possible. when I found combo. It's possible. It yeah. is, yeah. Like, stuff happens. Uh, Water Protection is a spirit card. Wow. Yep. That card's great. Yep. Uh, you might not get to play this if you're playing with a purple character, but if they aren't playing it, you absolutely should. Yeah, definitely. And if they are playing it, you should strongly consider talking them out of the idea of playing it. Bully card. Because not only do you get to cancel a treachery card effect, but you also get to take a horror damage. Yeah, it's, it's a the, gift. It's kind of a weird shift, but... No, that is, I actually didn't uh, realize that it's, while I was making that, but that's 100%, yeah, it's like, I yeah, will... Uh, it's a good thing. Stop a card and also get a little uh, bonus to my brain and book. That's sweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, Unexpected Courage is just a good card. It gives you two of any skill, right? Especially when you have a limited card pool, cards like this will go into the majority of your decks. I believe Unexpected Courage is in every deck video we've done for this so far, but it's just... It's probably in every deck. Yeah. When you have a limited card pool, it's just strong. Yeah. Guts is in like 90% of them. Not this one, but... Uh, then we have Until the End of Time, which... Uh, Brynn is once described as one of the best safety blankets that Kelvin could ever have. You just have never feel safer until you get this card out. Yeah, there's like two different Calvin rights that I've played, and the one of them is the one where you never find your until the end of time, and you're just like, if I see the wrong card at the wrong time, I will die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's the games where you see that you see until the end of the t end, of, end of time, and you're like, my stats are five, and I will never die. <laughs> <laughs> so funny uh yeah and uh it's it commits for a uh, fist and a wild card but you're i mean uh, you probably want to you're gonna want to play this you're yeah gonna put this on the field it's, yeah the uh, only the only time you should ever be committing it is if by passing this, the test you will end the scenario yes yeah uh, in which case you man you're flying close to the sun i love that last test mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not playing this until the end of the time don't worry about it uh voice of the messenger uh is his personal weakness uh, and it's going to deal you direct damage or direct horror, which, until the end of time, will circumvent. Because uh, you can play this on that. It also will give you trauma. So, long term, a victory? Make yeah, question sometimes. Mark? I've definitely spent time at the end of a scenario where I know I don't have to do anything anymore. Because, you know, like, maybe Trav's got whatever, whatever the objective is. I'm just like, I can draw three cards every turn trying to find my voice of the messenger. <laughs> So that I can start next game with one more punch. Yeah. Uh, that's why I think if you're going to be playing Kelvin, um, if you're just starting out and you play with three people, I think Kelvin's good and you can just tell the other two. It's like, you're the goon, you get clues. I'm going to do something, we'll find out, won't we? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah it depends on what the, what the game gives me. Yeah. Um, let's go on to uh, the Forgotten Age, which are some cards uh, from this. We have Thermos. Which, uh, heal, it's a nice hot <laughs> cup of soup. That's <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> I see you lean yeah. in and read that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the? <laughs> yeah, like, healing, healing does make your stats go down, but if you die, your stats might as well have stayed at zero. And it also becomes a lot better later in the game when you have trauma, which you will, because your weakness makes sure you do. Yeah, it's almost impossible to avoid. Um... I imagine this will be one. Uh, we normally don't talk about things to cut, but I imagine because there's two times two thermoses in the when you just start. But I feel like having one of these is like it's an easy one you can cut for better cards in the future, which we'll get to those better cards 
Uh, yeah, I mean, like, flip side of it is you're playing red cards, so most of your cards don't cost that much money anyway. Yeah. As Travis and I were just talking between, it's just you're like, I don't know, I have so much experience, what do I buy? Uh, improvised weapon is another uh, thing here. Uh, this is pretty cool, it's just uh, it's a way for you to fight in red while also taking advantage of the cards that are in your discard, which is something that red does, and it's a way for you as Kelvin to fight, and uh, if you are have a lot of physical damage on you, you can fight pretty consistently. That's kind of the weird thing with Kelvin, is that, like, when we, we just did last week, released Mark Harrigan's, and we were like, you punch conven uh, consistently all the time. With Calvin, it's like, uh, yeah, what what have? What, we'll see, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how good I can punch. Uh, going back to Thermos for a second, yeah. uh, if you are playing your decks, with, unless you're doing some kind of challenge thing, uh, the reason that I believe this was initially two of in this deck um, was that... If you just have corsets in the Forgotten Age, you're probably playing the Forgotten Age, and you you and your allies incur a lot of trauma throughout mm -hmm. that one. Yep. And Thermos helps clear that up quite nicely. Definitely, yeah. So it's he not also, just he like deals a other investigators too, thing. which yeah. Yeah, I've definitely spent experience to include Thermos in some of my decks because I've realized that I get to start the scenario at like you know two damage or two sanity before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the card is very solid. Uh, Perseverance is a great card. It stops you from dying. Wow. Yeah, like sometimes, sometimes it's a guts, but sometimes you're like, I have one health and one sanity remaining, and I'd really like not to die to just, you know, a stiff breeze or whatever yeah. the game throws at me. This is probably the second best safety blanket you can have as Calvin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're playing a Calvin deck and you're not playing Perseverance, I have to question where exactly your priorities lie. And it's also yeah, first appearance even come like the core set. Mm. Oh no, it's a little bit later in the cycles. Yeah, yeah. I suppose like that's that's a uh, that's a reason I will accept. As we <laughs> said though, uh, with these cycles, we build them that assuming that when you buy a cycle, you buy the cycle and all the mythos packs to play the full uh, like uh, campaign. So that's why we're, we're just assuming you have these. If you don't, well, that's, the, that's the way that everybody suggests that you buy things. Exactly. So yeah, we're just, just we're, makes yeah, sense. we're just doing it like that. Uh, second yeah. win heals you. Wild. And it replaces itself. Wow. Once again, it's that kind of weird thing with Kelvin where your healing is good and bad, right? Like it's Yeah, yeah, you got you got worse at stuff, but you also are less likely to die. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. It is, yes. Alright, well, oh, no. winging it. Winging it kind of falls into the line of uh, improvised weapon, where uh, it just makes you investigate better from your discard. Uh, and it's, uh, once again... Winging it is so good. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's fun. It's so good. Uh, and then, it's deduction. Uh, then we also got um, Take Heart, which uh, is a great card, especially in Kelvin, because as Bryn says, for the first little bit... You're just going to be failing tests, so why not <laughs> turn those into cards and resources? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, what's what's the worst case scenario that happens when you commit take heart to your test with terrible stats? You succeed? Yes, I actually that's would fine. say that's probably that's the worst That's, like, case. actually worst case. <laughs> the Brin, the Brin curse, as we call it's it. It's also really nice when you pair it up with things like, uh, um, look what I found. Yeah, definitely. Get double duty out of that when you're just, I'm going to fail anyway and get benefit out of it, but also get more benefit. Yeah, that would, that is, does this sound like a, a real, just get, yeah, like, yes. Take a game. The game from your star chip, you're like, damn it. <laughs> what is, his star's plus zero. Well, if you, you, can, if you get the star, you can choose to take damage. Or so heal, yeah. Yeah, like, you can choose wow. to heal or take damage. Or, or horror, so... Like, that's pretty fine. Man, every time I look at Kelvin, I'm like, this guy's crazy. This guy's nuts. <laughs> uh, let's get to some upgrades. Uh, we got Aquina. Wow, Aquina. Cool. So when you're playing uh, Kelvin, the idea of, like, what Aquina actually does, like her text box, that's not so important. What is important is that she can take damage for you, and the more damage that your cards can take for you, the more you can afford to put on your investigator yeah, baby. and not risk dying. Mm -hmm. So it's kind you of also very... notice that you, uh, you don't have any allies in your deck. <laughs> Just, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's Pete? Where, 
Pete? Where's Pete? <laughs> Pete! Pete only made it into, like, uh, about a quarter of these deck lists, just so I'm sorry to say. <laughs> but, I thought, I... I always so I play Pete. Pete. I always just assume Pete's core. I'm like, you know, like he's core set, but no, no, he's from Dunwich. So yeah, you don't have Pete right now. And Aquanaut, the four brain is pretty yeah. huge, especially in it's combination a lot, with the other two cards: Elder Sign Amulet and Bulletproof Vest. Right, like that's eight additional brain that you can then go to five uh, brain mm -hmm. damage on your card, and like, ho ho. Now, now we're cooking with gas, right? Yeah, any anytime you can sit as Calvin at like fours or fives across the board and not feel like you're just going to die next turn, mm -hmm. that's a pretty good place to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah Calvin funny. actually has one or two other options for allies I think we'll get to later. He, he has a ton of upgrade cards he can play. He makes very good use of experience, especially mm -hmm. for red and vest gear. But uh, uh, Aquino is like a really solid one just for that soak. Yeah, definitely. And if her ability triggers, it's not like yeah. that's pretty sweet too, right? Don't yeah, expect yeah, it to. to make her do her thing. Yeah. All right, let's keep going on. We got upgraded Lucky, which is just Lucky but better. And then um, Will to Survive. Best card we never play. Yeah. No, yeah, this amen. might be actually the strongest card we don't play. Yeah. Uh, card's great, especially with Calvin. When you get to those higher things, you'll like your stats are very high. You're just gonna succeed without having to play the game, which is great. All right. Let's get on over to the Forgotten Age upgraded cards, starting with Yaddle. So Yaddle does, does pull. He pulls some double duty if you've got the improvised weapon suite in your deck, where sometimes you're milling cards and, uh, you know, it's like you drew a card. Mm hmm. Kind of like improvised weapon and wing and don't actually have symbols on them, unfortunately. Yeah, they don't have any. Yeah, they don't have any symbols, so that's kind of tough for Yaddle. But he also lets you recommit anything that you may have committed to a test. Yep. Which is probably how you're going to be passing tests for the first three turns if you are going to pass them at all. Yeah, for the most part in this deck, Yaddle is just like a plus one to whatever stat you're doing, but like kind of, kind of all the time. Yeah. Yeah. He's also a 2-2, two -two, yeah, which is pretty neat because, uh, you know, we don't actually have that much health. Yeah, yeah it's pretty or solid stats. Yeah. Uh, we got Cornered, which is just another way for you to take advantage of increasing the value of your skill test. Plus two, once again, is it's pretty all right. And discarding cards, is you're going to want to do that because you have in this current list improvised weapon and winging it, right? So now you can consistently play those out of your uh, mm -hmm. your discard pile. Corner yeah, does cornered. effectively make any of your cards into a, an unexpected courage, yes. which is fairly solid. Yeah, yeah, like corns are a very solid, like sort of mid game card for Calvin, I think, because uh, you can sit at like at threes across the boards or fours across the boards, and then cornered you can throw away your like sort of niche cards, like your kind distraction or your second copy of perseverance or your merchant cash if you don't need the money or whatever to really just push your stat into being like great. Yeah. Yep. It's also really cool with the scavenging. Yep. And if you want to I mean, flex, if you really want to flex with cornered, you can discard your unexpected courage with it, just to like really flex. I mean, like that's really good. You can discard that, and you can exhaust your yodel and be like, "Whoa!" whoa. Oh, he baby. doesn't do now, Yeah, now that. we're cooking with super gas. Yodel no, doesn't kinda... count. He doesn't count wild tokens. Or wild wild tokens. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Get out of here, yodel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, against all odds, I think is a Calvin specific card. Like he was the investigator who's meant to play it. There's not really anyone else who ever wants this. Yeah. Preston could. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, pretty much like it, it lets you draw extra tokens equal to the difference between your base skill value and the difficulty of the test, which Playing Calvin is just going to be draw tokens equal to the difficulty of the test. Yeah. Seems like a fun time. Yeah, it's just it's just a pretty great card for him. Still weirds me out to see the Elder Torah box art. Like, <laughs> what are you doing here? So cool, and the card's like so not cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alter Fate uh, is just a very strong... It's a way to get rid of uh, cards in play that you might not want, especially in... Uh, later cycles of like uh, I know you're not playing with this one it's just like 
I always think of uh, Fate of All Fools, that one card, to this one way where, where you like, see the power of Alter Fate. Yeah. And there's so many other negative effects that you can just get rid of with this, which is awesome. This was actually does... very strong in the Forgotten Age in particular. There's lots of, like, there's, like, quicksand garbage or, yeah. like... There's just, like, yeah. lots of RAM stuff that are, like, quite annoying that you can just pay a resource and card and you're like, get out. Yeah, like the there's exploding of... flowers that poison people, right? <laughs> you can just be like, you know what? No, that's not here. Yeah. There's a lot of cards that are very troublesome for Calvin where they tell you to test brain or some stat at the end of your turn mm -hmm. to discard them, and you're like, my value is one. Yeah. I can never get rid of this. And you're also in Survivor or... where you're going to have the experience for cards like this pretty quick. Yeah, you don't have any, like, super necessary upgrades. You're not like, I gotta get my Ever Vigilant to be yeah. able to play my cards good, or my... I don't... You know, you don't need to get your Golden Pocket Watch, because it's insane. You're just like, I'll just spend my my experience on things, thank you. Yep, yeah. Yeah, playing, playing Calvin, you don't really have any... There's not much that costs experience that is core to your build. Oh. Look at all this. This is some. These are some cool cards here. He gets lots of good cards. Yeah. It turns out there aren't that many bad spirits in the game. No. Uh, Blood Eclipse is another one of them. Calvin specific cards, I believe. Yeah, like probably no one else ever wants this. Like you cast it, you get to take up to three damage, and uh, you know fight with a and uh, do do some damage to something. Yeah. So not only do you get to put damage on your card. But also you get to put damage on one of the game's cards, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of damage. Yeah. A lot of damage. The, like, <laughs> the only downside three, to this is that the damage, damage doesn't increase your brain value. No. But I think that's I think that's a fair I think that's a fair trade. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's it's gonna be pumping under stats and like in a perfect world, you're dealing four damage to someone. I'm reading that right. It's like plus three damage, right? Like I'm not yeah. messing this up. Because mm -hmm. that's a lot of damage. This is a lot of damage for one action. Yeah, a lot of damage. And then the damage you're taking, which is would for most people be a downside. Uh, Calvin's just evolving to his next form, and he's like powering up. Uh, we yeah. got old hunting rifle, which shoot things good, as we saw when we were recording today. It, it's it's uh, it shoot things very well. This yeah, one's it's... like upgrade baseball bat kind of. Yeah, pretty much. It's like a baseball bat, but better, mostly. Yeah, in a lot of ways. Not every way, but in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. The Time Worn brand has, like, two reasons that it's sick in Calvin. The first of them is it's just really cool. Uh, <laughs> it's like a really it's like weapon. The strongest, it's actually, like, a very powerful melee weapon. And the second part that makes it cool is that you can take a fight action with your brain score instead of your fist, and those scale off of different types of damage. So maybe you haven't taken a whole lot of regular damage, but you've taken a lot of horror. And you can use this to, you know, score a, score a big attack on someone. Yeah. While your punch score is still very low. And it's just so sick. Bryn's right. It's just so cool. You know, like, I've never... I've played with the Time Worn brand exactly one time, and it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> felt like nothing could ever kill me. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's like, it's like machete, but, like, better, and also has another ability. <laughs> Yeah, this like this is this is like what if your baseball bat took only one of your hands and could never break, and if you fought someone who's really tough, you could just one shot them sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty sweet. And if it was a and then you could draw if it was a, a boss, cards. you draw cards, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I think that's it for Kelvin. Yeah, it is. Um, so once again, Kelvin is a it's a very he's an interesting investigator, very uh. Someone left yeah, he's a slow to start, but once he picks up, gets some experience and some trauma, he really starts chugging along. Yeah, and someone left a comment on our top investigator videos, which if you don't watch, we release a list video every Thursday about Arkham Horror the Card Game. But that the they play characters like Mark Harrigan because they want to win, and playing uh, <laughs> investigators like Kelvin Wright make them feel sick to the stomach. Uh, because Kelvin Wright is kind of just your... Um, you're very much just going with what the game gives you and how you draw from your deck and the, the trauma you have on you. So I think it can be very fun. And I think this uh, the suggestions we have here will build a deck that can at least get you through um, a campaign with them to see how he is if you want to see if this is a play style that interests you. 
It interests Bryn. I knew it was. I Every time <laughs> I see a weird investigator, I'm like, Bryn's going to like this guy. I appreciate the, the sort of puzzle solving aspect of the, of the weird ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you have any suggestions for other cycles of cards that you think could be good in Calvin Wright, let us know in the comments down below for any other new players that might be watching. We'll see you guys next week for another investigator guide. Oh, does someone have to say something? I don't want to... No, okay, good, good, good. We're fil filming at a distance. We're, we're getting better, but it's still weird. I hear someone talking. I'm like, did someone have to say something? Uh, you guys have a good one. GG's.